Conquistador. So that's your real nationality? No. Do you see yourself on this side? These are the names that God gave us before they came and conquered us. So guess what? You're not Dominican, you're an Israelite. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. That is your true God-given nationality. Give me Jeremiah 17. You call yourself Dominican, guess what? I'm sorry to tell you, but that's a slave name. You understand that? Me calling myself African-American, that is a slave name. I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove it to you. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So that's like your parents saying, you know what, we can't deal with you no more because you didn't follow what we said. We, we disowning you. God disowned his people. Hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. Listen real quick. Let me, let me deal with the system. All right, hold on real quick. Listen to this verse real quick. Watch this. So God, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Wait. God disowned us, right? Let me show you. Read it one more time. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine head. So guess what? God disowned his people. Why? Because we don't keep his commandments. Do you keep the commandments? Do you keep the commandments? Okay, what commandments do you keep? Okay. Okay. Those are not commandments, but I understand where you're going. Let me show you one commandment. I'm going to leave you with this one commandment, okay? You love God, right? You understand you're an Israelite, right? As an Israelite, I'm going to show you the commandments. Because God said, because we didn't keep them, he will punish us. That's why we're here today in the lowest of society. We didn't keep the commandments. Let me show you one commandment. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You want to say in that commandment? Okay, let me break it down to you, right? Because we established, we got a report now. We understand each other. Go ahead, read it one more time. The woman, listen to this, bro, listen to this. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So sisters, what does that mean? What is a garment that a man wears that belongs to women? Give me something real quick. What can a man wear that belongs to a woman? A skirt. So what can a woman wear that belongs to men? Pants. 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 A woman is not supposed to wear what? Pants. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.